break from the ads? Want a break from the ads?
Did I see a ghost? I think I just saw a ghost. That's fine. We're gonna be questioning our humanity anyways, so I guess any amount of uh, ghost viewing might be appropriate. But uh, what's going on, everybody? How you doing? Hope whoever's listening had a great day. I've just been uh, winding down the new year pretty easy. Same old, same old. But hope you had a good day. And uh, I'm ready to finish up uh, Soma, the finale, finally. I've been itching to play this. I really wanted to see the ending, and despite my attempts to persevere, I could not do it at the end, but uh, now we're here, and I'm ready. Ready to fucking launch and go. So if you guys are ready as well for us to uh, dive in. We get the game and what's going on. But yeah, I think um, end of the year time, you kind of just take it Nice and slow. This there. Um. Where is Soma? Ah, there you are. I'm still not used to this two monitor setup. I do not know how to like switch back and forth between these two separate screens when I'm trying to process information. I don't know how people do this. I don't know how people have like three or six or twenty monitors. I don't know what you're doing with the time. I think people have like, and I think this is why they call people with glasses four eyes because they have this innate ability to um, look in 20 different directions. Maybe that's why. I'm sure that's the reason for the name and nothing else. There we go. And then. Capture Soma. Or Soma weird. I forget. Soma weird? Oh no, Soma's not weird. Okay. There we go. It's almost just a little odd. Just a little weird. Not like 100% weird. Like, you know, like the comfortable kind of weird. The kind of weird that you enjoy. Not the weird so weird that you have to leave the party early kind of weird, you know? Let's turn the music off. Go to this over here. And then we can get started with Soma. Hey, I wanted to try this out again. Want a break from the ads? Want a break from the ads? One day I'll figure that out. But uh, that day is not today. Today is the day we beat Soma. 
more important outcome. I never noticed this kind of looks like a brain. Also, is that... Are these eyes reversed? Or are they copies? Oh, is it a copy? Oh, that's clever. Interesting. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Alright, well then, let's, uh... Let's fucking get in here, shall we? Simon has reached the bottom of the abyss and will now traverse Harsh Farm in order to get to the tower where the Ark is said to be. Oh man, my headphone... Mic my, on. My Mic off. My headphone here is completely fucking warped. No, it is... Demolished. I think about to buy new ones. I think I'm gonna have to cave. You know, I'm always... I try to hang on to things as long as I can before they actually break. Most of the time, but... This thing's living on a prayer. And it, it was perfect before then. It's so sad. Such is the life of cheap electronics. Alright, come on. Give me it. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Alright, we're here. We're in the spider cave. I'm kind of worried this game is incredibly fucking loud. Let me go there. But Jay, how many dads do you have? I have to ask. Is this is this a is this a collection that you've got going on? Are you going around just picking them up like they're uh, puppies off for adoption? Let me go back here. Then no, not that one either. I want sound devices. Oh wait, no, I want this one. There it is. Okay. Where's Soma? To 40? Yeah. Okay. That should be better. Okay. With one father and one stepfather. Oh, I see. Wait, so you swapped me out for another father? Damn. Don't make me box. Is that a threat? You can't threaten me. What do you mean? <laughs> what if I take it away? Oh, God, what is that? Oh, God, what is that? Oh, that's the thing. That's the thing. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Wait, the hell is that all the way down here? Uh, again. So I was right, you are collecting fathers like fucking Pokemon. I 
understand that. I see, I see. I see the way you operate. It's fucking here. It's behind me, isn't it? I know it's coming from there. It's gonna light me up like a fucking Christmas tree. And is it down here? I know it's real, but is it like a creation of the, uh, the thing? Maybe I'll find it soon. You never wanted to pay child support, so I found something bad. <laughs> I like that the, uh, I like that the condition of, like, being the father is paying child support and the condition of being stepfather is only paying none of it. Very uh, realistic chat, like this RP gets it up. <laughs> but I am, congratulations on uh, finding somebody who's willing to pay for you, who's willing to claim you as their child. I'll never claim anybody, but if you found a dad, good for you, my man. I'm very happy. Hmm. Should I go? Oh, I found it. Run to town. Let's fucking go. Lots of brain juice everywhere. Yeah, this place is completely and utterly fun. I guess we just go in. I really wanted to take a look at those, uh, whatever they are back there, but I know they would have ended my life. No shot. I have a free one. Gonna tell me about more problems about my existence. Oh no. Mm. Okay, I can check. Is that what the towel means? I have no idea what's going on, but I'm so fucking confused. For the military? Wait, is town military or Greece? Show me the arc. I'm ready. Oh, fuck. What are you gonna do uh, for your child support? Uh, set pay and save to LJ. Buy yourself a little gift. Buy yourself a little gift. I heard child support pays pretty well. Dad would have been happier to be inside. Now let's find the arc. Get the hell out of here. Oh, it's another one. Suits. Lost, lost, active. Oh, there's one around here. Okay. This one, maybe? Tracking. We're in Tau. It's in Macron? Or I... Oh, I came from Macron. Okay. Wait. Maybe. Oh, maybe this is um that dude that I saw. Mr. Ross. Welcome to Tau. What's left of it? Are you guys all right? What happened here? We ran out of real food long ago. People have been getting sick. Haven't heard from anyone in months. No really shit. Bad. They all think you're dead down here. Some failed evac story circulating at Omicron. Oh, God. Listen, son. We're on an important mission, and we need your help to operate the Omega space gun. When it's done, we can all head back up the plateau. But now we need to get moving. Of course. Head on through to the habitat. We shut off the front section to preserve power. All right. See you soon. Mm -hmm. A likely story. Look, this is all a big setup to undermine the strength of the WoW um, and prevent humanity from ascending to a new species, a new height of intelligence and uh, consciousness. Don't believe it for a second. This is all wild propaganda. Right. That means something's coming in. Um, somebody coming inside. Uh, that's what that means to me. Something swimming inside right now. Down that way. I hope not. Please, for once in my life, that'd be wrong. I know I've never been wrong before, ever, about anything. 
my opinions are always 100% correct, but I would like to be wrong now. I would like to this one time be proven guilty. Maybe we'll quell my waking uh, righteousness. Look at this. Uh, nothing. Like, for example, Elden Ring being the best game of the year of God of War. 100% facts. Okay, what's here? Uh, I'm here. That's where I came from. I'm trying to go this way. Okay. Broken Omni tool. Can't do shit with this. And then. What is the point of this room? Just a map? Nah, fuck it. We out here? What's the other way? Please let me be wrong. Please let me be wrong. I don't want to be right, man. Is there someone there? Is it? I swear something's standing right fucking there. It's right there. It's right there. It's right fucking there. Oh, fucking shit. Well, maybe I was wrong about the direction that that was in, but uh, let's uh, not die again. <laughs> hey, Juniper Mint, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. Hope you're enjoying the stream and having a good night. Uh, what is going on? Right now, I think you just saw me get absolutely obliterated by this monster. Whatever it is, I think it's worse, but uh, I've got to figure it out. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I could probably bait it around the corner. See, this is why I hate. This is what I hate about being right. I was 100% right to say that he's in here with me. Oh God, you walk fast. You walk so fast. You sounded so. Cool. I think I'm slowly converting into a robot as well. The more I play this game, I can feel my emotions tapping out because I've been harassed and destroyed in so many different ways. I'm losing touch with my human emotions. And so I guess you've played this game before, Juniper. I think I'm close to the end, I assume. Someone told me that the other day, and I'm excited to see uh, what happens down here. Oh, fuck, he's coming. Can, can I lock the door? Please lock the door. Please, lo oh, please lock the door. Can I lock the door? How do I lock the door? God, save me. No, oh, you're. I'm about. Halfway through, oh, you're halfway through the game. Ah, oh, okay. And just poking around the other rooms to prep myself mentally. Oh, emotionally. Hmm. Um, can't blame you for wanting to prepare yourself. This game can get a little stressful and, and quite hectic. Oh, fuck. I can see why you have to mentally prepare. Oh, God, he's so fucking fast. Well, that didn't quite work. <laughs> Well, I don't think you'll be spoiled too much. This game's not like quite on the nose until the other cutscenes pop up. Um, but uh, yeah, we're just exploring deep, dark, and well time. I think if you're about halfway, you must be I'm trying to think. You probably have the little Omni tool girl, right? And you're like in the labs. Yeah, I gotta say they turn up the intensity of the monsters by a large margin. So if I can provide you any emotional relief, I'd be happy to. Because I'm not getting it. Okay, if I call Z, I'm going to go Please go away. You're going to remind me of the But she's going to come to the bottom and just eat. Yep. Yeah. You know, I, I, I wasn't going to run away. I didn't... I don't have the skills for that. <laughs> I... Yeah. Um. Oh, you just met the dumb bat. Okay, okay, okay. I think I know where you are then. You're probably like a good two or three hours away from me. Um, and this seems very <laughs> intense. Well, I think this is the... Oh, see, that was the noise I heard that tells me he's here. Um, this is probably the tightest corridor I've ever been in with a monster. Usually, there's like a lot of room to run. There doesn't seem to be a lot of room to run here. So... <laughs> I don't know if I'm making it better or worse for you, Juniper. 
but at least I think you'll know what's coming up now. Maybe that can help you. Consequences of not paying child support. I have no idea what you're talking about. I have no child support to pay. I'm a free man. I think if I paid anything, I don't think the monster would be any nicer to me. I think he'd be easily trying to suck my face out. I love this. But, um, do you usually, uh, check out games you're gonna play, Juniper? I don't think I've ever done that before. That probably seems like an interesting way to, like, prep yourself before you throw yourself into a gambit of a game you have no idea about. I play this because, um, I have a redeem where people can tell me to play a game. And they picked Selma, and I was not prepared in the slightest for, uh, what I signed up for. Okay, he's gonna be right here. Can I turn the lights off? You think he'll run away? Like, he'll leave me alone if I just sit here and cry in the corner? If I cry quietly, like I just cry into my sleeve, you think he'll leave me alone? He seems kind of, he seems like kind of nice. He has some semblance of humanity. Maybe. Are you coming? You here? What? He's not there? Oh, there he is. Okay. Wait, why was he like right in front of the door when I did it before? I literally ran like fucking Rumble first into him when I did it before, and now he's just not even there. All right, whatever, we're good. I the teleporting really fucks him a lot. He literally just like moves in between areas without anything. That's cheating. That's cheating. You literally blended into the environment. That's cheating. That's cheating. Why are you walking so fast? Why are you walking so weird? Why are you walking so weird? You're walking way too weird, buddy. You need to go back to Funny Town. Yeah, no, the teleporting is not nice. He, he has been teleporting. I've seen him go to places he should not be able to go to. I'm like a trained track runner. He should not be able to keep up with me. He somehow gets in front of me constantly. Uh, let's try this way. I usually don't, but I do it only when I feel like I need to. Okay, 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 interesting. I guess that could be, if you're preparing yourself emotionally, uh, I guess I'm gonna ask, are you, do you get very scared by games? Or do they stress you out a little bit? Cause this game is definitely getting my heart pumping. Uh, this way? Wait, this is where I came from. Right. Do I need to do something in here? Look, I put my hand in the hole, but I'm, it's not gonna make me feel better if I can just smash it in my face. Hi! Hi! Let's get it. Well, <laughs> that, that was, uh, I don't think he's as understanding as I thought he'd be. Let me just close this real quick. I'm gonna go check my emails before you ravage me again. So I'm going to make him go to like another area. By calling on the kid. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Oh my god, how did I. Why are all these doors shut? <laughs> I'm just fucking calmly standing there, like, pushing door buttons while he waits behind me. At least he's a little bit of a gentleman. horror game ever Juniper wow okay yeah I could easily see why you want to prepare yourself emotionally for something like that your first scariest game that is really exciting though well I hope you've been enjoying it then that must be lots of fun have you watched a lot of scary stuff are you like into scary things because like this is like one of your very few scary experiences I mean that'd be that's such like, a rare thing that must be awesome to experience where is he? I hear it. He's around here. Is that like a big one outside? 
magic just pops up like right here. <laughs> I decided to play for the story, but didn't that's what I signed up for. Ah, okay. So I guess someone told you it was more of just like a walking kind of simulator where you get to ask like philosophical questions and enjoy like an interesting world and not um fearing for your life from giant barnacle monsters and robots. That's cool though. So you mainly like story games. Wait, what is that too? Oh, oh. Was I I think I was supposed to do that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. What kind of games do you usually play then? They're just mainly story ones? <clears throat> or I guess just nothing scary. Oh, this open. But streaming your first time playing a scary game, I'm sure that's very uh exciting for anybody who's watching. Who's who's making all that noise down here? Oh, who's making all that noise? Who's doing all who's doing all this business down here? Please don't be in here. I'm hearing like relatively calm music. I think we're we're I think we're safe for like five minutes. Okay. Uh, they said psychological horror, and I was like, oh, okay. How bad could it be? <laughs> How bad could it possibly be? There's no way it's that Ah, uh, fuck. Wait, fuck. This dude has been bothering me for like a hot minute, and I don't know how to stop him. Okay, let me... Close this. Oh, Ross is in my head. Ross is in my head. Um, but I guess, hmm, fuck. Okay, uh, like, what drew you to psychological horror? I guess just psychological stuff. I am kind of interested. In why you picked so much your first? Because I think my first horror game is why does he keep just popping around? Because I think my first horror game was. We have to stop it. God, what was it? Probably Resident Evil. Is it Resident Evil? Yeah, it was the original. It was the original Resident Evil. I think that was my very first horror game. Um, and it's like a fairly popular series. So I think it's pretty like they probably got shielded. It could shield to me so much, but I feel like it's fairly new. So I was wondering, what would the appeal be? I mean, I see now that I've played it. Enough about me, though. I'm so impressed. That I'm to chat through this. I don't know if I'm effectively chatting through this. Uh, I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm trying to maintain my sanity. And honestly, if anything, you guys are helping me uh, take my mind off of how scary this actually could be because um, basically. Oh, okay. Sorry, you didn't hear what I said. Uh, let's see. What did I say? Oh, I said the very first horror game I played was probably Resident Evil because people will. Like often recommend that one. I played that a while ago, and I was asking like what uh, drew you to Soma, besides the psychological war part. There's lots of games, and then I also said that. Um, and if anything, you guys are helping me, like not get as afraid while I'm playing this game, because I'm also just focused on talking to you guys and not getting scared out of my wits. Instead of I was like sitting alone in a dark room and crying. So I want to thank you for helping me. Uh, oh, yeah, of course, no problem. But, uh, I'd say that I went on, like, a big horror game streak for Halloween while I was streaming, but before that, I've played a couple of Resident, uh, a couple of Resident Evil games, a couple of Silent Hill games, and then Dead Space. I'd say that's about all the horror that I've really played. I'm not, like, a big dude. I just, I just play, like, a... I'm not, like, a big horror dude, but I play a lot of classic games that everybody recommends to me. I'm always willing to try stuff out because I'm interested to see why people love certain games or just checking it out for myself. Oh man, everyone here is so messed up. Oh man, you can still talk? Damn. What's going on with your fingers? A little... What the... I know the coral is like... What is it doing to you? Is it like... Oh, I just realized this is what's going on. I see, so it's replaced your skeleton with wires. That sounds disgustingly uncomfortable. I can't that is a I can't imagine how that would feel to have all your bones replaced with wires. 
I think I just unlocked a new fear. What the fuck did we do? Hey. That's what I'm asking you. Try not you. to think about it. My whole life. I've been a good man. We messed up, Sarah. There, there. I should have launched. Taken the chance. There's time. If Ashkin says we could try again, when things calm down. You gotta do it, you know? You got to. Hmm, I, <laughs> I remember. <laughs> I'm getting a good idea of what happened uh, to the station to what we're looking for, but I'm, I'm really interested to see exactly what ha like what it did to the object. Let's check out some old books. It's mainly the story. I was playing a puzzle game that was kind of philosophical and wanted to be the vibe. Oh, uh, okay, got you, got you, got you. That's cool. Yeah, the philosophical stuff's pretty interesting. And I actually do find it pretty fun to stream them, because you get to talk to people about their ideas and what they think about it. Like this one, obviously the big one is like, what does it mean to be a human being? And I've had lots of good conversations with people just popping in and out and like, talking about ideas. Hey, Death of Fish, good to see you, welcome in. Hope you're having a great day. What is going on? I'm still, uh, suffering by what it means to be a robot. But what are you up to today? Okay, here we go. This boy. Where I came from. Three more doors. Three more doors. I gotta say, some of the some of the designs in this place, I get so lost because everything starts blending together. I get my mailbox peed and let's fucking go. Congratulations, Deathfish. I hope you enjoy all those packages you find and all the wonderful, hopefully only wonderful things are inside there. <laughs> hopefully no one sent you like, I don't know, a cake for a special holiday gift and it should be sitting there waiting for you to mail back. Down or up? Oh, I have no idea. Is there a map around here? Um, yeah, I'm pretty lost. Huh? I wonder if there's a map. Another area, perhaps? No, I was in here. And this dude's talking. My roommate has a cake. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, I literally said cake, too. Damn it. <laughs> well... You know, hopefully, I don't know, if you, where you're living is cold, it may have prevented anything from getting any nasty spreadingness or anything like that. But at least you'll be happy to get all your mail and all the wonderful things that you can salvage out. Okay, so not this way. Huh. Go away, Rob. Oh. Oh, they think I'm a WoW pet. Wow pet. Like, I'm not a Neo pet. I'm my own human being. You don't need to think that WoW just, like, hatched me out of an egg. Well, I guess technically, I am a WoW pet. That's a hard to explain feeling that you got brought back just to fuck with people. Imagine your whole purpose in life is just specifically to fuck with people. Like you were just manipulated to fulfill uh, someone's objective. Uh, <laughs> I'm an boy Neo pet, now, damn it. People can say often that uh, PNG tubers are basically like fucking. Uh, NFTs, and it hurts my soul a little bit when I hear that, when people refer to me as an NFT. I feel like I lose I lose all semblance of individuality. I feel like someone just computer generated me for profit. Actually, it's just what I described. You're being manipulated by others for their own sadistic goals. Not in there. No, okay. I was kind of half expecting the robot I uh, was messing with earlier to like, pop up and just to like show me like who's charged like oh you made a mistake and I'm back again. That's a bad idea. That was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. Isn't that just having a job in America that you keep describing? Ouch, but true. <laughs> Technically. Technically, if you have a normal job, you are being used by other for your for their profit. But I don't want to say that it's like, that's like uh, a majority of people. I like to think at least 30 to 40 percent of people work their jobs. Maybe that's being too generous. Maybe like 20 percent. Maybe I need to run a poll. How many people enjoy the jobs that they have? If they have, they have like a 
long full-time job in corporate America. Do you enjoy it, yes or no? Okay, that's where I came from. Maybe now that I blew up the bottom part, they'll let me upstairs? Maybe that means I'm like, I'm like... Maybe I fucked up so hard they're gonna know that I did not... Or I am not a pet. Damn it. I think the difference only... Is that you're not owned by your job, at least. No, Juniper? Okay. <laughs> You're part of my you're part of my tally. Right now, uh one hundred percent do not like. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I was being a little too generous. Maybe we'll go closer to like ninety-five percent. I'm sure the CEOs love their job. I can't get out of here, can I? All the doors are locked. Are there any people I can unplug here? Any moral questions I can ask myself about what I'm doing with my life? Remotely locked. Jo oh, Ross's room. Oh, okay. Probably the goal is to get in there somehow. Maybe flooding downstairs will lead me to my answer. Hmm. What's this? Squeeze? Worthless. I always remember psychopaths are a small percentage of the population, but a massive percentage of CEOs. Look, they always say you gotta be cutthroat to get to the top. And what's more cutthroat than being a little psychopath who does not understand other people? I think you've reached the pinnacle of uh, sacrificing others to achieve your goals. <laughs> I think there's a big reason why they're CEOs. Oh, it opened. Wait, what? Uh, I guess I should have just waited. Oh, don't we all need to trust Paul right now? I... I think I pop it at this point. What is this? Place here. Place what here? Place... Cargo. Ah. I've always... I've always, like, desperately wanted to try... Um... Breaking one of those. Like, just squeezing the ball so hard that it popped. I don't know. I feel like it'd be so satisfying to just go... 100% in and try to, like, smash it. Okay, so I, I think I need to put cargo here to advance. But I don't know what cargo needs to go here. Maybe me? Maybe if I stand on it? Like, oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, waiting for cargo to catch. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, okay, okay. Config? Config failure. Catch. Oh, I see. Okay, what if I quickly... I know I'm a little heavy, but I'm gonna go to the gym. Come on. Alright. Hmm. Oh, wait. What's this? Oh. Oh, I see. What if I get in there? That's a good idea. Okay, maybe... The girl will put some cargo in and then I can attach it to them there. Hopefully not the monster. This is gonna be some real Scooby-Doo ass shit. If I open the elevator back up and he's literally like in there. Alright. Please don't jump scare me. God save my soul. God save the queen. No? Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, here's my idea. I'm gonna jump in here. No? Come on, I don't need to be worried about safety conditions. Didn't you ever want to, like, ride in a, a, a Dumbo elevator when you were, like, a little kid? Like those things they have in the hotels that go all the way to the top floor and the bottom? I 100% wanted to do that. I know it would have probably ended up with me in the hospital, but it still seems so exciting. Okay, let me try calm. Maybe that'll... Maybe there's like a thing that'll, that'll pick up while I'm trying to decipher my position. Oh wait, it's probably in fucking Ross's room, is it not? I bet it's in Ross's room. I bet you're in Ross's room. You're not gonna free me, are you? You're gonna hear it to torment my soul. Hmm. Oh, there it is, here it is, here it is. Okay. Oh, I see. I see, I see. Okay, so basically, I need to put something down there. Some 
cargo. But I don't know what exactly I need to put on this elevator. And I know I can't go to the top upstairs yet. Look at this. Alright. Trust falls are important, right? We were just talking about that. You need to... I think the monster might just need to de-stress. So let's just put this right here. And then, uh... Take a look around for anything else we could possibly need to send to the monster. Let's, go, let's create a care package for the monster. What do you think the monster likes? What do you think he would enjoy? What do you think his hobbies are? What are his passions? What kind of food does he like? Do you think he likes, um... What is this? Leftover... Leftover coffee? Coffee containers? What is that? No idea. Uh... This is the cargo. Could be. I don't know. That's orange. I'm taking it. Look, I'm just gonna start throwing random things onto the cart. If it takes them, no. If it doesn't, um, we find out a new plan. I, it's probably supposed to be the thing I'm here for, but could also be. How did I miss it? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Get out of here. Alright, let's see. Transmission. No, he's gonna work. Let's try it. Oh, I know they're still there. No. I wonder if I called the old area with the uh, with the other robot answer that I talked to earlier. I'll never know. Come on, Omicron, Omicron, Omicron. Bye to Savolki. Omicron to Herber. Yoshida, Omicron to Herber. Hey, Rune, my man. Thank you so much for the raid. Raiders, welcome in. How's everybody doing tonight? Rune, hope you're having a good time with Neon White. I hope you're hidden on purple or red or whatever girl you fancy. And I hope you got all the gifts that you're looking for. What's going on, man? How's the stream? Purple haired crazy girls do it best. Remember, only if you can dodge their knives. If you can't dodge the knives, you're in trouble. Uh, should I open any of these rooms? I, I really just want this one. Two, seven. Oh. Okay, you just solved it for me. Ooh, got it. Alright, whatever. I bet the package is in that room then. Okay, I think I know what I need to do. I just need to load up the payload and get it downstairs. Got it, got it, got it. And then we can also check out Ross's room. I want to see if I can find his dirty underwear and expose him for what a liar he is. Purple haired crazy girls do it best. See, between, uh, between Violet and, uh, between Violet and Red, I'm a big fan of Red. So, I can't support Crazy Girl, but she is cute. I will say that. Although, I think Rune might be more of a green kind of guy. How could you resist the muscles? The stream is really good. Hey, good to hear, man. Uh, you seem to be having fun while you're playing, so that's good to see. Uh, this was some, so, hey again, kitten. How you doing? Uh, hey, you listen. Hope you're having a great day. What's going on? How's it so far? Very interesting. I'd say it's pretty easy. Um, and, like, while the monsters are kind of scary... They're pretty simple to avoid, but I think like the story and the psychological questions kind of make up for it. Oh, isn't that cute? The main villain has an Einstein bobblehead. Look at that. Aren't you a cutie? What is this? I I can't science. Oh, a kid. Thank you for the hydrate. And you listen though. No one has made a Soma D's nuts joke yet. I've been saved. Very, I'm very lucky and very happy that no one has decent us me yet. I probably deserve it after what I did to Rune yesterday, but you know, I've no one's gotten me with it yet. Oh, maybe this is the payload. I see. Oh, and thank you. What stretch? Uh. Bro, I dodged the knife because you know they can get crazy in more ways than one. Yeah, if they can't hit you with the knife, then they look for the gun or the wrench or the hatchet or anything in your house that's. Vaguely sharp. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. Okay. So this is a human eyeball. And after they injected the goo, it turned into this. Half machine. Glitching out of reality. Hmm. What's this? Nothing I need here. Uh, more math? I can't do this shit. I'm just having green hair. It's been too long. Oh, did you have green hair? Oh, that's cool, kid. Oh, God. I was hoping to see Omicron today. The evacuation ordered by the people of Theta was a gift. An excuse to leave Alpha and abandon them. Wow. 
As the storm cleared, we were sworn by the monsters that the wow had facilitated. We were ambushed and forced back to Chow, Glasser, Kovsky, Kotsets, and I survived. And our clear is in the infirmary, but it doesn't look good. Mm. Koetsi made a run for it to check observation for anything resembling food. Going outside is beyond dangerous. It's like going to buy cigarettes in a hurricane. She came back and had some crumbs with her. We all knew it was empty. I think she just wanted to, a chance to die without carrying the responsibilities of taking it herself. Well, I mean, that's basically suicide. If you jump off a bri if you walk into the middle of the road and you get hit by a car, you don't really count that as like not doing it yourself. You're just <laughs> taking advantage of things around you. People from the plateau showed up. It was a group of engineers from Theta telling us that they wanted to use Omicron, the Omega Space Gun, patented, to launch something called the Ark. It's an artificial world that carries the brain scans made from people working on Pathos 2. The idea is silly but endearing. We all agreed to do a scan so we could take part in the afterlife. Some engineers returned from Phi. Apparently, they postponed the Ark launch. They were all in a very foul mood and difficult to get any straight answers from, except for one very important thing. They all wished to remain at Tau figure out this arc business out, but they had scheduled for the climber to pick them up tomorrow. Someone would need to catch that climber to alert Omicron what was happening. Luckily, Glasser and I were able to take on this mission. I will finally get to warn Dao and Sarang about the critical situation at Alpha. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Aren't you proud of me? I didn't call you daddy once yesterday. And I am very proud of that rune. Congratulations, my man. You're starting to see the light that I am nobody's father, and I can never be forced to pay child support. Uh, my hair has been every color of the rainbow, but it's been green and purple the most right now. It's like a reddish burgundy. Oh, okay. Then what's your favorite color? I had to ask. Uh, I'm going to go get ready for my stream. I fully... Oh, yeah. No, I saw you. Listen, again, uh, congratulations. I saw during the Catherine stream yesterday. Uh, but I hope you have fun with your birthday stream. Happy birthday. Congratulations on affiliate. And, uh, have a good one. The pattern has stopped evolving. The WoW has managed to find balance. I convinced SSE Volchek to turn off all external control systems, mm. making the WoW our de facto caretaker. So far, it's exceeding expectations. It's gonna exceed you into the ground. Since the comet <laughs> did leave your existence ago, for safety reasons. January 12th, the WoW has dropped to a low energy state. It hasn't abandoned its duties. It's keeping climate and life support going. But it's been simplifying the pattern, redefining its protocol. Mm. The WoW has started to grow physically. It's not just the core chamber. All around Pathos 2, structure gel is bursting through the pipes and bleeding mm. through walls. I don't know what WoW could possibly stand to gain from this, but I assume it is intentional. Literally just trying the to take over wow the entire such a large part station. Of the core oh, chamber. It's literally, there's no there excuse. There can no longer be any question to its heightened awareness. Not only does its expansion suggest an unexpected understanding of space, but also its own physical manifestation within the world. The WoW is reaching out to every machine, every life form, to manipulate, to control. It's trying to help save its creators from all this just like the protocol demands. But really, what is good enough? Mm. Where is the line? Okay, oh, shit, oh. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, that's a false sense of security? No, Rune, you've seen the light. You only have a mother. You have, you have, uh, you, there's no, there's no father in me. I cannot do such a thing. I have never been a father to nobody. Go this way. Favorite color is purple? Oh, nice. My bedroom's painted a very soft purple. I think you mentioned before. Kind of like a light, very, kind of like the dullish purple color. My favorite hair color is green, hands down. Okay, sick, sick, sick. Uh, or maybe platinum blonde, but that's rough on my hair, so I'm bleach. Yeah, well, if you have darker hair. Uh, I dated a girl for a while who went through, like, a blonde phase, and, like, by the end of it, she, her hair was, like, completely destroyed. She had to, like, regrow it all back very carefully, because it was just so dried and, you know, messed up with the bleach, so. Massive respect for anybody who dyes their hair. I'm sure that's a lot of work. Uh, heading to bed now, thank you for prepping me mentally. Have a good trip. Hey, Juniper! Thank you so much for stopping by. It was great chatting with you. I hope you have a, a good time with Soma and you enjoy. <laughs> I hope you're at least more emotionally prepared. Uh, but have a good night. Rest up. Take care. And have fun. Peace.
My hair is naturally almost all black. Okay, yeah, so you had to do a good bit of work to get it a darker shade. Yeah, no. Bl going from black to blonde, there's like a breaking point, right? Where you're, you just gotta take a break from dyeing your hair. Or like, it's just gonna be completely dried out and lose all its natural stuff. Okay, I'm... I, what did I do? I unlocked this door, right? And it went uh, up and that way. I unlocked it, right? Or is this still locked? Let me see. Well, luckily, Rune, you didn't put those all together, and therefore, I'm completely free not to read that in the voice that you said. Remember, I have the problem of reading you're, the- Oh. You're, Fuck, you're I thought fine. that was- I thought you were dead. Go ahead. Make yourself at home. You, robot. I can't, like, get a good look at her face. Turn- turn more towards me. Are you human? Don't mind me. I think she is, actually. The first person I've met this whole game. Uh, okay, this is where I came from. So let me call Can this I up real quick. You with anything? Calm down, lady. We're just looking around your room. I just want to have a little inspection. I want to sit on your bed. I might want to take a nap. You can just sit there and deal with it. Look, you can call me Goldilocks because I'm going to take nice a nice little nap here. Used to have one just like it. Can you stop complaining? I'm trying to sleep. Alright, I can't reach. Fuck it. Alright, what is it, Linden? I thought you. What do you Are want? Are you human? Sarah Lindwall. Payload technician at your service. A rare sight, am I right? I'd say so. You're the first normal living human I've seen. There's not many left down here. Most of them are up on the plateau. You mean at Omicron? Yeah. There's no one alive at Omicron. You've been there? I've been all over. The power plant at Upsilon. The ruins of Lambda. The abandoned Delta. Theta. You've been to Theta? There's not a lot left of Pathos too. And, uh, I'm the only living person you've met. <coughs> you mean I'm the last living human on the planet? Mm. Oh, sorry. Who are you again? That's Rob. Simon Jarrett. Station down? Nowhere. I, I used to work in a bookshop in Toronto. Long story. Then what the hell are you doing here? I'm trying to find the Ark. Why would you? How do you know about that? I've heard it's the last hope for mankind. Damn right it is. Now what do you want with it? Take it to the gun at Phi. Launch it into space. That was the plan, all right. I've been guarding it ever since we brought it back to Tau. I just couldn't bring myself to let go. Let go. Tell you the truth. I don't have the strength to argue. And I certainly don't have the time to wait for the next sentient thing shuffling through here. Go ahead. Take it. Thank you. Can I get you anything? Do anything for you? You could kill me. Damn. Good one. Well, I mean, I do see the disabled button. I still button. can't believe I'm the last one. It's crazy. All right, you're the if last. You, you're the last human being you in existence. Up a little bit. You know that there is no way you came by. to save your race at all. You are literally the last survivor. Do you end your life or do you live it out? And I guess she's kind of like six, so she's probably just gonna be stuck here, like just sit here and rot away for all eternity. Do you tell the sentient robot to kill you, yes or no? <laughs> why does she have, like, a Chinese... Wait, why is this, why is this in Chinese? Hmm. Grab this. Uh, let me see. Live it out and live it up. Always a party. Well, I guess maybe she can play some games on the computer or something, but I think her, her partying is a little limited <laughs> based on where she is. I'll see if I'll kill her. I want to talk to her more. I want to see what she wants properly. I know it's dark and it's just sort of tinted to look burgundy, so it's not like destroying my hair with bleach. Mm -hmm. I can see. Dying takes a lot of work, so I am... Um, I don't blame you for taking it a little easy, kid. It's middle school. Oh, man. Let me look around here. Hey. Okay. What does the surface used to look like? Mm -hmm. Lovely mountain range. 
trees. The orc. Can I put it back? No. I wanted to do like a little experimentation. No? Alright. <laughs> Intercom. Be my guest. I got no secrets worth keeping. I like how she's like upset about me touching her computer. <laughs> she's like sighing like, oh, why are they going through my stuff? Okay, door locks are all open. Photos. Who's this? I'll... I half thought this dude was wearing a dress, and I was so confused because I thought it was like glitch or something. Hmm, okay. Oh, there, kid. Who the fuck's that? Oh, this is Ross. Oh, this is totally Ross. I recognize his face. Partying is never limited. I mean, the sad thing is she doesn't have anything to have fun with. She can party on whatever medicine she's on, that's about it. I had my entire hip belt and was on a cane for a short bit, but I still party, just a little safer. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, maybe <laughs> I gotta find the tip to party if everything anything ever happens to me and I need to be uh, bound for a little bit. She's probably afraid you'll find her porn. Well, I just restored her documents, so it might be in here. Thorough look at what common chemicals and compounds found can keep you alive in emergencies. Nutrition, a manual of being conscious when comatose. How to make room for additional paperwork. I mean, nothing of value. Okay. Please talk to me. Why do you want to die? I'm willing to kill you if you're about to die. But other than that, I'm not going to do it. Are you serious about me killing you? No, I love to hang around here until I dry up to the size of a rainbow. Want a break from the ads? Want a break from the ads? Shouldn't we be doing something to keep you alive? Why? You're the last human. I, I just find it disrespectful to our entire history not to fight this. Sure, we have the Ark, but you're the real deal. Thanks. That's probably the best compliment I've ever got. But the truth is that the Ark is all we have. We'll have to accept second best, you know? None of this feels right. Simon, I want to die. Sarah. Just think about it. Good luck, Simon. Go ahead. Go save humanity. What's left of it? I don't know what to do. I like how that just bumped my shit around. Yeah. Oh, killing like the last human being in existence. We love humans enough to utilize them, we should do the same for humans when they want to. Mm. I mean, I get that she, I don't know what she's sick with. Clearly she needs medical help, but like, I don't know if she's at the point where she would need to die. I think she's asking to die because she's the last human left and she has no hope, you know? It's like, not a situation where she's so sick that she needs, like, it's better for her to die. She is just like, hopeless that there's no way out of this and that there's no benefit to living anymore. Anything. She's giving you verbal consent? I know, I know, I know, but she she might just be going through like a mental state because like I just told her she's the last human alive. What if I'm wrong? What if there's more humans around? Like then she'd be dying for no reason because she thinks she's the last one left. Or she's thinking that the robot's gonna kill her soon. She doesn't have any of her friends or family, they are all dead. Hmm. Yeah, the whole space, the whole station's fucked. Okay, I know I'm walking through the door, but like... Mm, she's sick and dying anyways. Yeah, I know. Mm. Mm, I know, I know, I know. It's just... She wants to die with dignity, not suffering. 
I mean, realistically, if I... Okay, realistically, if it's easy enough to kill her by pushing this button, then she's clearly, like, at a very low health state that... Did she... Okay, here's my thought process. Here's my here's here's my justification for killing this woman. <laughs> Man, this sounds fucked up. Basically, besides like her verbal consents, um, in the situation that she's in, realistically, there's no way to save humanity with her, right? Like I know there are ways to bring humans back with cloning and science and whatnot. So, if we have this old, I'm not even gonna old. Dying woman here. There's no need to hold on for her for that sense. So in reality, it's not like she's like the last human. She could just be the last human made through regular reproduction. And as long as there's enough cells and science recorded to regenerate human beings in the future, I think it'd be okay. And so then the question just becomes: Am I just gonna kill a sick woman? Who's worried that the AI is gonna come down here and kill her ass? Yeah, she's old. She can't produce anyways. If we don't need her, <laughs> see that's like the pragmatic look. But it, it's not like we have to take her with us. Literally, the the options are just leave her alone and not do anything, or end her life now so she doesn't have to sit here and wither away, or the AI comes down here and murders her. I mean. She, she could find her a new she could find herself a new purpose, you know. The thing is like I I have no plan to save her from the AI or the situation, right? Like leaving her here to die in this situation would be more cruel than just killing her now while she's cognizant of it, you know? It's like, yeah, you know, it's like either she gets violently murdered or I kill her now. There's no guarantee that she's gonna die. Yeah, no, you're right about that. You're right about that. You're right about that. You're right about that. It's better to end her suffering now instead of letting the AI come in here and infect her or, I don't know, like, murder her coldly. Man, yeah, that's true. Alright, Lydia. L Linda. I really wish I knew your name before I did this. Is there a name on here? Oh, Claire, Coetas, John, Abo. Fuck, I don't know your name. Oh, God, I don't know her name. It feels even more fucked up to say that. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta do it. All right, Lindwall. That's what I was looking for, Lindwall. Okay. Oh, God, is this what a fuck? Is this what a fucking doctor feels like? I don't like this feeling of having to like put somebody down. Ah. Uh, fine, fine. I know you're suffering. I know it's for the best, but it, it hurts me. It hurts me. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this, but I know it's for you. It's for you. Okay, look. You did your best. You protected the art. You saved humanity's second best chance. And for that reason, for giving humans a second chance, I'm going to end your life. I'm sorry. Would you stay there for me, please? Yeah. It won't be long now. Just please, just stay. Yeah, I'll be here. What a crazy thing this was. Life. Mm -hmm. I know. At least I won't have to turn 30. Hooray! Oh my god, she's not even old. She's not even 30, bro! Fuck! Wish I could have died at home with my friends. Yeah. When well, you, you try to save your Greenland? It's very beautiful. Photos were nice. Well, at least when you get out of the city. They're very nice. Nanok is busy, and yes, there's like 12 million people trying to get around, but it's a great place. Sure. I'm very sure. It was a great place. 
before the comet ended it all. You know what? I prefer it this way. I liked Pathos. Liked my colleagues. Ian, Nick, Jasper, even Catherine. <laughs> even Catherine. We found People purpose, thought you know, she was weird tried to. because she was quiet, but she was cool. Simon, you're still there? I'm here, Sarah. Good. Don't let him die, okay? Send them out there to the stars. Punches, huh? They really want you to feel the weight of that decision. I mean, imagine just leaving her there. That'd be terrible. Or even worse, just like walking out on her after. Just poke her to see if she's dead. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I trust I trust the machine to tell me that she's gone. I'm not gonna defile her corpse. I'm gonna let her I'm I'll let her go in peace. I'll let her exper experience her final voyage into the stars, because she's on the Ark too. Um, and you know, maybe one day far into the future, they'll just reproduce humans based on the AIs inside the Ark. I actually did read something that's basically about that, you know. I did say to violet, just poke it. <laughs> the problem is I don't have a posable thumb, so I can't really poke anything. So if I want to check if she's alive, I'd, I'd have to like grab an object and then shake it in front of her face until she started moving. And at that point, I think you are defiling. Where's that? Grab the ark. Yes. I found a dead body over by the river, Grandpa. <laughs> I'm gonna go check. Uh, I mean, yeah, vet and healthcare type stuff is always extremely difficult. I'm, it, it's just like you know, I, I have big hangups about it. I guess morally, I'm just like thinking about it. Just like, man, you know? it's heavy stuff. I'm not have to do I'm not have to do it a ton, so I'm not like quite used to it. Listen, I don't know if something's alive, I just put the stick. Okay, if this game does not end after I do this, I will go up there and poke her with a stick if I can find one. No cargo? Oh, I got one. Hold on. There we go. I will go find a stick for you. Monster is not gonna be first. Gently, of course, gently. Alright, let's launch this Omega gun. Let's let's send humanity off to space. The final frontier. Let's send ourselves in with a bang. There's more in than out. How do I fix it? Is there a way to handle here? There we go. Okay. And then maybe I pull another thing to get it get it going. There we go. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. More. Uh uh where, where, where? There's gotta be another pipe. I need more water. I need more water. I don't know. If, I don't know if I'll be able to go back for that body kit. It seems like this is kind of like this. Kind of seems like a, 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 a do or die situation. Oh god! I may have just launched myself in the stratosphere. Well, we're not going to poke, but someone might need to poke us. Oh no, we're here. Okay. You just said there. Hello? You just talked. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is Catherine like, oh, wait, what's happening? Get this shit out of the way. We've got a humanity to save. Are we mostly robots? Should be fine. 
actually, uh, now we're 100% robot. We we uh, we changed bodies. Basically, we could, we created a clone of ourselves, and then we killed the original. So uh, now we're like 100% robot. But maybe I don't have good uh, water pressure handling systems. We'll see. T. <laughs> What's the T, sis? I cloned myself and then killed it because I thought it wasn't human. I didn't want to leave my clone self down here. Out of my chair. It's that weak robot. <laughs> damn water pressure handling robots. Goddamn robots. Can't handle no goddamn water pressure going on burst. No, burst the risk. Easier. Easier. Oh, I can't do that one. Can I? Am I stuck down here? We're gonna be the Tin Man from Wizard of Oz, praying for some little bit of oil. Uh, is there like a doorway that I missed? How do I? Ross, fuck off, bro. You are not humanity saving. I don't know what you're doing, but stop being weird, bro. You're scaring the bitches. Okay, I think. Hopefully this hole will somehow get us in the right direction. How extremely convenient that there's this small hole burrowed into the rock of the water that'll take us the right way. That's right, Ross. Stop scaring the bitches, bro. Stop scaring the bitches. You start talking about philosophy and what it means to be human and they start running away. Go this way. Like in the Mariana Trench, I do not know where we are logistic wise. We are so fucking far. Oh, this is Alpha. Oh, wow, okay. Don't tap the glass and scare the bitches. Question Why are the bitches behind glasses? Are we at like one of those clubs where there's dancers like behind the screen? Otherwise, I don't know if you want to keep your bitch's glass pane away from you. I feel like they should be, you should be like a little closer at least if you want to have a conversation. You don't want to scare the bitches, but you also can't ignore them. It's not quite a good tactic. You gotta keep them contained. <laughs> well, bitches can't be tamed. Let's go up here. And if you can't talk to them, then you just put them away. <laughs> <laughs> you keep locked up. They sure did have it right in the old days, goddammit. They kept them locked up, secure. Now we're here, and they're roaming all over the place, causing problems. That's why you can't scare them, you gotta get them back in the corral. You gotta be like a shepherd dog. We all know Sundays the only day old people should be unchained from the table. That's the only day they should be let out of the retirement home. And unsupervised is when they can be around other old people. Just corral them in a church somewhere. It'll be okay. It'll be controlled. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wait, wrong way? This way? Wrong way? I think I went the wrong way. Yeah, I went the wrong way. This way. Hmm. So. Uh, okay, I'm going to the Omega Gun. I get you, I get you. I'm trying to save humanity now, I see. Okay, we gotta find the Omega Gun. Gotta do the things we gotta do. We gotta save uh, what's left of human consciousness. Ross. Just tell me what you want. Ross, the bitches. I need you to stop the world. What? How? The enslaved protein solution around your suit is the most for which the power will have itself. What are you talking about? As soon as I can do an Omicron, I tried to tell them to make the toxin or make the power with them. But they didn't understand. They put it inside my cabinet. It's so infuriating. They needed to take it to Alpha before. 
fountain head of misery we created. This toxin inside of me can kill the WoW altogether? You are the snake, son. Now strike at the heart. Mm, so the, the, the gel was tampered with. The gel inside my body is poison. But I don't understand what Ross's beef with the WoW is. Like, I don't quite understand what the WoW's goal is so far. I get that it is trying to end humanity, but why? How is that helping? Sunday, they do church and grocery shop. That's about it. Go back to the table. Sit there, bound by the chair and shackled. Then they go get to eat their plate of beige. That beige. <laughs> you get your plate of rice and beans and sometimes porridge. That's it. That's all the beige you get, Grandpa. What the hell is that? Oh, wow. Heart. It controls all the structure gel on Pathos 2. All you need to do is poison the imprint and the heart. Oh. You can't leave. We're not done. Mm. Okay. I don't know if should I kill this thing? Like, I know it's like poisoning the game, but I feel like. Can't let the world continue producing its filth. Why are you calling it filth? Take I get it that it, I get that it's like multiplying and like infecting the base, but like there's no humans left. As long as I can force your arm inside it. As, Back off, okay? as long as we launch the humans into the space, who cares about the WoW? It's not gonna bother us. What what is the WoW doing? Hey, Simon. I feel like Ross is crazy. I feel like he's lying about things. Grits, oatmeal, biscuits, mush, all beige, old people food. Yeah, but biscuits are fire, though, so I can't doubt them. If it's poison in the game and hurting whatever, kill it. I, 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 okay, so... Don't let the earth be consumed by WoW's nightmares. So basically, the WoW was created to preserve humanity and preserve the environment and everything. And then somewhere along the line, it decided that in order to do that, it needs to... Come on. Kill the humans that currently exist and then take over the planet to allow things to reproduce a different way, like all infected by the gel. Um, at least that's my understanding of it. So now the question is like, do I get rid of this thing that's trying to save the earth while I launch my thing into space? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems like the WoW's lost it. I mean, it definitely lost the, lost the script a while ago, but it's doing its own thing to try to save humanity. And, you know, if I'm a human, Back off, okay? and I'm a fucking robot, what exactly differentiates this thing from being human? This giant, glistening hole. Is this not a human being? If you took a photo of this, do you not think this looks like a human? I could see a human in this. I love biscuits. Yeah, uh, biscuits with the butter, Sorry. top to your side. Top to your side, always. Pollution? I mean, it's trying to manage it. Or at least try not to destroy the environment. All right, I'm putting my fist in. A man in the wild. We're going to we're going to end the wild dream. Because one day, one day, we will come back and control this planet, not you. I'm not poking it with a stick. I'm poking it with a fist. Immune to the new oh god, that's gonna be a bad ending. Ross, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Oh wow, the wow's not dead. Sucked you up his butthole? Well, if your heart has a butthole, I think you have other problems, but I think Ross is not dead. 
uh, and the WoW is now very angry and going to come to the SCC we run. I think the WoW is very angry. I think we angered it. I actually don't even want to know. I 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 don't even want to look. I don't even want to know. No, 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 no. What the fuck is behind me? Oh! The giant sea cucumber just ate my ate me up. God damn. I need to. Where do I go? What's what's home? How do I go home? How do I get out of here? What the fuck do you do? What do you think this monster tastes like? He looks very robotic. <laughs> My answer would be battery acid. Take a battery asset and combine it with like sashimi. That's my pick. God, I'm fucking limp. Oh. You're not gonna go this time. You're not gonna. You're not gonna rip it. Lord in heaven, save me. the game real quick. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Uh, attacking my computer. Quick. Quick. Attacking my computer. Quick. It won't end. <laughs> he won't stop eating me. So we're going to do this the hard way, huh? All right. We're doing this the hard way. There we go. It's so dark, how do you even see the butthole monster? Well, um, the butthole monster has a little bit of illumination on his side. A little blue light. That's what I was using. But now he is vanquished because the game is closed. I'm also blind as fuck. Oh, okay, okay. No, I could see it with my, my current settings, but he's uh, mainly lit up on the side with like a little blue light. 
but yeah, I don't know uh, what just happened there. The game literally just kept circling around back and forth. Oh, wait, wrong way. Just kept circling around back and forth with him crunching on me. I wasn't actually running away. I already got grabbed. We were getting wrangled around for like like two minutes, just getting eaten. I think they wanted you to have like a true, real experience of getting eaten alive. My vision just ass and I just got new glasses. Oh, okay, okay, I see, I see. Actually, I don't know this. Does like distort like if you have vision that requires glasses, does it also make harder to see things in the dark, or is it the same? He's a slow eating babe. <laughs> Some people just like to take it nice and slow. Some people like to go fast. Okay, hopefully this time we're not going to get our self completely decimated. The Ark is on its way to Phi on an automated tram. Simon just needs to make sure he gets there as well. Okay. For me, it's just I can't pick out the details easily. Okay. That's what I thought needing glasses was for. was solely that you have unfocused vision, so you need glasses to like better see specific details. Sorry, I like sushi. Uh, I'm sorry that uh, sometimes I have just like raw fish mixed with rice and spicy mayo. I didn't mean it. I promise I wasn't trying to kill your ancestors. Uh, oh, 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 fuck. Where are we? I feel like we're in the death pit. Where the fuck are we? Hi, Bubble Man. This is where I was supposed to go. No, I was supposed to go this way. You see, I think last time was a glitch. I think he was supposed to, like, set me down, but it just kept fucking going. It's here. It's here. It's here. It's here. It's here. We made it. We made it. We made it. Come on, hurry the fuck up. Run. Run. God damn it. Run. Grab this. Oh god, okay. In the dark, I navigate a lot by feeling and knowing the layout of my living space. So walking around the dark, I touch walls and kind of stealth. Oh, okay, interesting. Well, I also know my living space by the dark, like in the dark, just because of like, my, my, I don't know, my, my familiarity with it. Like, I just kind of know where things are. Not to say I haven't, like, stubbed my foot into furniture sometimes because I miscalculated my, my, my pace. Most of the time, I don't need to actually see them walk around my room to not uh, to, to be able to see things. Okay, close it. God. All right, now we're by. To make a room progress, we're close. I think we are almost there. I think once we launch the arc into space, then we uh, we're out the bang and we're done. I think this is five, right? It looks like five. It looks like a P kind of. Flip. Yeah. 
yeah, I guess the alphabet is based on the Greek alphabet, so that makes sense. That makes sense. Hopefully there's another monster here. The monster will make gonna be happy boys. If I have my glasses on, I can start to struggle a little bit. I may start to look up in the light. Ah, okay, okay. This has to be fine, right? Hope the Ark made it here in one piece. Well, if things are already blurry for you without glasses, I'm sure that with, with in the dark, where things are even more obfuscated, that it'd probably be a little difficult to tell where things are. That does make that does add up. Can put Catherine in here and then uh, get started. Chris, what the hell happened to your arm? <laughs> it's complicated. Well, I just need know. to know one thing. Oh, my oh, hand! My arms. Oh, the arm, right? wait, I have bones? Yes, I thought I was a robot. Are you okay, though? Can you do stuff? Yeah. Let's just get this over with. Did you find the ark? Just call me Ethan I Winters. did, but I kind of lost it on my way here on an automated tram thing headed to Phi. So it should be around somewhere. That's great. Let's go get it. I love the dark. Well, I'm also a night person. I uh, probably, as you can tell from my fucking latest, <laughs> latest crutch dreams, so. Alright. Fly is up and running. Okay, so now what do we do, Catherine? Not no insight, just walking around. Did you find out what happened to the Ark team? Not really. For some reason, they didn't go through with the launch, mm, so they took the Ark back to Tau. Okay. I hope everything's okay with the space gun. Yeah, I doubt I'll be able to repair one of those. A satellite is loaded into a shell. No, how this shit works. The shell is accelerated by electromagnetism. <laughs> That's why I use this thing first. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. Enough momentum to escape Earth's gravity is gained before aggression. Reaching space, the satellite will shed the shell and unfold. Onboard thrusters settle the satellite into an orbit. An orbit? I thought it was just supposed to look for like another place to live. No? It's supposed to just rotate around the Earth? Wait, then how does the... Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold this on. This feels like the longest day of my life. Has I thought the one whole day? point was that no you idea. launch it into space so Our that you could save humanity on another planet. To me. Not that it just Time's rotates around Earth for all eternity. It's May 11th, That's definitely not saving humanity at all. But I don't remember when we started. Hey, Cece, my man, welcome in. How you doing today? Good to see you. What's up? What's up? What's up? I am... I have just saved the Ark from the other, uh, base. And now I'm trying to load it into the space. What are you up to? I don't know. Close that down. Staff activity. Nothing here. Launch log. Success, 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 success. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Here. Here's where it, here's where it went wrong. Amitsu, Orbital Platform Fighter, on hold, on hold. After 10 years of impeccable operation, the Omega Space Gun will shut down. But it took an apocalypse to make it redundant. What does that mean? Hmm. You know, I woke up in my bed today. It just happens to have happened a hundred years ago. Sounds like a real. Does. I woke up in my bed today, a hundred years ago. <laughs> Who am I? Who am I? Ah, <laughs> yeah, who am I? Uh, I'm good, man. I had a good day. Pretty easy. Um, I hi hydrated and I ate, and I was excited to play Soma, so here I am. I'm ready to discover the, the means of humanity. Yes, I should have poked the giant butthole and not just shoved my arm in. It's crazy to think where I, I am. Not only is this the future, it's in the middle of the sea. I know nothing of this time or what the world looks like. Not much to brag about now. Before the comet, I guess it was okay. Yeah. Better not oversell it. Might change my mind about the Ark. You're seriously <laughs> not going to tell me what happened to your arm? I had to make a quick stop and say, Oh, wait, no, no, no. I wanted to hear dialogue. Why? I'll stop it from torturing the memory of humanity. Okay, let's just get back to work. Wow, Catherine doesn't even care that I killed her. Wow. <laughs> huh. Wow, she really does not care at all. Interesting. Okay. She does not even care that I killed the WoW. Oh yeah, by the way, CC, I killed the WoW. What will you do when you get into the Ark? What's the first I thing? Did, I Make sure the Ark is safe, stabilized flight path, activate solar panels. What's the first human thing you're gonna do? Oh. 
watch the clouds roll by? Does that count? I'd say so. I did kill that woman also, yes. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of killing while you've been gone, CC. I had a, I had a, I made myself a Philly cheesesteak. Very good, very good. Are you suggesting we keep it down here? Doesn't that defeat the whole purpose? Eternity among the stars, remember? The people inside the Ark won't know the difference. We can just keep it down here, and we don't have to risk the Ark being shot through 5,000 meters of broken barrel, and then push through another 100,000 meters of a dust-filled atmosphere. That's why you kept it? You fucking idiots. I don't care what you think. I'm launching it. No need to be like that. Let's just hang on to it for a while and think about it. We can launch it later. No, that wasn't the deal. Oh my god, these We needed to save idiots. them. To launch it. Out there, it's hope. Down here, it's a fucking terrarium waiting to die with the rest of us. Come on, Catherine. It's not asking much. Let's just think about it before we risk the only hope humanity has to survive this hell. No, we launch it today. This is my project. My arc. It's bigger than that. Don't you get it? It's not for you to decide. We're talking about the fate of mankind. Get away from the Ark! I'm taking it. No, you're not. I'm not gonna let you ruin this! Oh god. Catherine. Oh god, this that? is Catherine. It's you. You had an accident. No Were accident. You? They bashed you over oh. head with a fucking wrench. You mean Catherine? Don't worry, it's better this way. You were murdered in cold blood by your friends. What do you mean it's okay? They literally fucking killed you because they didn't agree with you. Why wouldn't you just make a second copy of the Ark and keep one down here and one up there? That seems so much more not murdery. How did you die? Oh, you got so into a fight with your now. colleagues. They didn't want to risk launching the Ark. Thought it might not make it through the atmosphere. They killed me? I'm yes. sure it was an accident. Accident. They were just trying to stop you from You don't launching. fucking use a wrench like this as an accident, bro. You see this? Look at this. Hold on. Look at this bloody ass wrench. That is not an accident. This is straight up just fucking murder. The Peterson? Whoever it was? How could they kill me? He grabbed this and Catherine. fucking whack. I know I'm not an easy person to like. I just thought they trusted me. Come on. Well. Don't do this to yourself. Yeah, that's a murder weapon. Straight up, that's a murder weapon. There's no room for negotiation. Oh, okay, I see what we do. So the arc goes in here. This is I the think missile. I found the assembly space. What do you see? It's like a huge open shell. A bullet, ready to be loaded. That's great. All prepare for the arc. Right. I'll go pick it up. I can't believe they murdered Catherine just because I think they should have left it in the... inside the... the the water area. It's so fucked up. Imagine, imagine if you had, okay, imagine that I did not kill the WoW, and it kept moving and, like, trying to eat everything. Eventually, it would have got to the Ark and it would have died. They were 100% wrong to try to do that. Yeah, I can't move the body. The only thing I have is the Are you suggesting we keep it down here? Doesn't that defeat the whole purpose? Oh, wait. Oh, there's more dialogue. Eternity among the stars, remember? The people inside the Ark won't know the difference. Oh, never mind, never mind. Okay. No, I didn't hear that first part. Uh, but yeah. So the only thing I get is dialogue. I can't move the body. It's just gonna rot here. Uh, Catherine 1.0. Me and Catherine 2.0 will just keep hanging out. Trying to revive the Ark, putting our fists in the buttholes. Normal activities that we do. On a Wednesday night. Can I unplug this? No. Uh. Yeah. I mean, I think they're really trying to sell the point that that was like an extremely cold-blooded murder. They literally just fucking annihilated their colleague because they disagreed with her. That is bad. That's that's a level of I think I think at this point they were all extremely panicked and trying to, I don't know find a way to cope with what was going on, and they just couldn't, so they, I don't know, like, believed, what's his name, Sarong, that if they died, the Ark would be their last hope. And now we annihilate them. No, we're gonna launch them into space, they'll be fine, I'm pretty sure. I believe in Catherine, I believe this will work, I have faith in her. 
Oh god, you know what I just realized? I know exactly how this game's gonna end now. We're literally gonna wake up in the office chair at the doctor's office with all these memories somehow. And we're gonna be like, what? Is that all a dream? I know it's gonna happen. Watch. Fucking watch Here it, it happen. We got the arc back. Good job, Simon. Take it to the assembly space and load the bullet. I know that's how this is going to end. I know it. That watch cat. Watch the other Catherine turn into like a fucking monster. He's gonna turn into one of those things. B or B? Hey, no worries, kid. Damn, man. All right, let's do it. Uh, and then do I need to bring the power back over here? Yeah, I do. I know exactly how this is going to end. They're going to bring everything back. I'm so certain. I'm so certain it's going to be like somehow the Simon in 20... What year was it? 2016? 2018? Is going to have these fucking memories. It's going to be like, oh yeah. Somehow it all gets transported through time somehow. Let's pop this in here. Okay. Then we'll just load it. Let's get going. Payload detected. Load. Goodbye to the last vestiges of humanity. Is that it? I'm really not that familiar with guns of any size. Oh, here we go. Guns. All systems say go. Lock and load. Come back up and we'll head out to the gun. By the way, Cece, if you're still here, if you've checked out 13 Sentinels, have you, Googled, have you Googled it at all? Looked into it? Because I fucking love that game. And I want to, I want everyone to play it if they like that, if they like that type of stuff. If you like some of you will like it. Let's go. Let's, let's save humanity. Let's launch them into space and then, um, what happened? Oh, I like how he's climbing with his forearm. So... Say we launch into space, I guess we just do what Sarang did and just end our life. Now right. Now we just need to get the shell into the gun and then... Kaboom! Aren't you forgetting something? How are you gonna get us on board the Ark? Don't we need to make another scan? Oh, uh, don't you worry. You don't operate something like the Omega space gun with your bare hands. You mean... It's a pilot seat? Like back at Omicron? Yes, and we can use it to transfer you to the Ark while operating the gun. Two birds and all that. Now, take the Omni tool and plug it in next to the seat, and I'll guide you through the final steps. I don't believe you. I don't believe you for a fucking second. You're gonna abandon me. I'm gonna, like, get left here. And the copy's gonna go, just like earlier. Simon, if you don't see that, you are an idiot. She is going to leave you. Again. She, not, she didn't even really care that her own body was dead, man. How do you trust her? Yes, I have trust. Do you see the way she reacted to her own dead body? She's like, oh wow. I can't believe they didn't trust me. She wasn't like, oh my god, I'm dead. Oh my god, I can't believe my body. Da, da, da. She was literally just like, oh, man. I can't believe they didn't believe my ideas. She does not care at all. Look, she's here for the, the AI. She does not care about the people at all. Not even remotely. She's here, she's not, she's here for um, a really long time. Not a good time. Okay. And we're coaching. Show me the lights. There's the space gun. Damn, look how fucking dark it is. Hard to believe that humanity is just going to be loaded up into the fucking rocket and just shot in space. I gotta say, it like if like for example you tried to do this idea now, it's like oh we're gonna save humanity by loading them into a rocket and shooting them into space. Um, that's it. The world gets fucked. Kind of is like a really bad idea, but there's like no other option at this point. There is, there is nothing. Absolutely nothing they can do. Oh. I'll never get used to that. <laughs> well, you will you won't have to. Not after this is over. Yeah, exactly. Right. Have a seat. Okay. I'm getting left behind. I'm, I'm getting left behind right now. <laughs> Look at this. Comfortable? <laughs> as good as it's gonna get. Okay, I'll activate the seat. 
You should be able to use the machines to load the bullet you assembled. There we go. How do you operate this thing? Don't know, I never tried this one. But pilot seats are notoriously easy to use, so it shouldn't be a problem. Hey, Danny, congrats on your first. What's going on, man? Hope you're having a good day. Danny, we're going to space. We're going where no man has gone before. But uh, what are you up to today? Hope it's been good. All right. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Okay. My day was good, man. Nice and chill, pretty easy. Just uh, trying to load up the last remnants of humanity into this rocket. There it is. There we go. Okay, ready when you are. Just hit the button and we're off. But we need to transfer our minds to the Ark. We also need to make sure it launches at all, so I tied them to a single switch. Just push the button and we're off. Literal fucking liar. How do I get out of this chair? You're lying to me, Catherine. You're lying to me. You're lying to me. I know you're lying to me. <laughs> what are you waiting for? I know Bracing you. Myself. I know well, you. Well, push the button when you're done. Stop lying to me. I Get me out of this chair. I'm gonna hold on to the rocket while it goes into space. I have better chances of survival that way than fucking staying here with you. I'd you rather okay? be yeah. flying through the stratosphere instead of doing this. about what we're doing. Ditching Earth. Boggles your mind, doesn't it? You sound so fed up with me. <laughs> okay. It bets on what's going to happen right now, I know it's not going to do anything. Ready? Come on, Simon, let's get going. Push the button. Deep Three. breaths, Catherine. Soon we'll be among the Two. stars. Let's hope so. One. Here we go. No turning back. Thank you, Simon. Don't mess you. It's an amazing thing you did. I want you to know I appreciate it. Back out of here, my enemies. Where is getting? Uh, we're doing it. We're launching the rocket. Time. 20 seconds. Why am I not scared? What's the matter with the upload? Just give it a second. I'm not loading. You guys got a better bandwidth. I'm not uploading. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Catherine, you bitch. Catherine! You're gonna abandon me? I can't believe you would do this! After all we've been through! Six. You gotta be kidding me! Five. Four. This is it. Three. Come on, hold! Two. Yeah, we made it! getting on the Ark. I saw it. It finished loading just before it launched. Yeah, I saw. Then why are we still here? Simon, I can't keep telling you how it works. You won't listen. You know why we're here. You were copied onto the Ark. You just didn't carry over. You lost the coin toss. We both did. Just like Simon and Omicron. Just like the man who died in Toronto a hundred years ago. This is bullshit. We came all this way. We launched the Ark. I know it sucks. But our copies are up there. Catherine and Simon are both oh, safe on the Ark. Be happy for them. She's been are you lying crazy? They won. We're gonna die down here with those fuckers living at large on a spaceship. They're not us. They're not us. I'm sorry you feel that way, Simon. I'm proud of what we did. We made sure that something of the hundreds of thousands of years of human history survived, that something lives on. No, 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 no. Fuck this. Fuck. Fuck this! Fuck, fuck you! you. Fuck. fuck you, Catherine! You lied! <laughs> and I believed in you! I trusted you! You said we're getting on the fucking Ark! We Trust are it. on the Ark, you idiot! No, we're I not. I didn't lie! I can't be responsible for your goddamn ignorance! Oh, you idiot. You wanna fuck. fucking fight about it? I'm gonna break this fucking Omni-Tool right now, watch me. Catherine? 
Dishonor on you. Please Dishonor on your cow. Dishonor on your whole Catherine? family. Catherine? Dishonor on your whole family. That's the ending? Oh my god. She is a bitch, Danny. She self-deleted herself. That's the crazy part. Catherine gets to get out of this. She can literally just delete herself because she understands how the computer works. I don't. I have to I have to end my own life to get out of the situation that I'm in on the the the, uh, the bottom of the ocean now. I don't get salvation. I don't get freedom. I have to manually live down here or choose to end it. I get no hope. She knows, she knows she can get out of the situation because she believes she will. She knew how I felt and she just considered me ignorant, like I didn't understand. No compassion at all for any other human being. Man, that's fucking rough. God, what a, what a terrible ending for a protagonist. I can't even fathom how, like, imagine being in his shoes. It's interesting because I honestly saw with Catherine. What? Bro. See, this is related to that discussion I talked about robots before. Like... Okay. I agree that it was a good thing that she sent the Ark into space. It is incredibly fucked up how she manipulated Simon the whole time. Because she knew she wasn't going to send him to space. She straight up just lied and used him to get her goal done. And I mean, yeah, she like gave him the consolation like, oh, like a party will live on, but like... He's, he's gone. He's gone. I just got here. Are we ending already? We? <laughs> you came for that last moment. You came for the last moment, Danny. You're here for the good part. One thing I just don't agree with is that she should have told him that he wasn't going to the Ark. I mean, honestly, if she wanted to be, like, fair to him, you know, she could have just killed him at the end. Like, she could, like, I think she killed herself at the end there. So if she wanted to be fair to Simon, she could have organized it to kill him too and then he would have no idea there'd just be a copy of him on the ship that thinks he transferred over instead of a copy that he had to kill you know like then it would be more fair now it's just like she abandoned him yeah she should have offed you too exactly mm -hmm. uh but she didn't because she knew simon wouldn't help her anymore yeah i mean yeah simon would not have helped at all she did because Catherine becomes dangerously stressed, leading to the failure cortex chip. Oh, oh, hmm. You know, I wonder if that's like a part of her mind disagreeing with herself. Like, even she knows it's not real. You know? Like, even she agrees, like, oh, that's not me. That's not like the real me. So she got so stressed out at the idea of her conflicting ideas that she accidentally killed herself. That's kind of that is a bad fate, actually. But still. She still inadvertently got herself out of the situation. Simon's still stuck here, as you can see. Simon's still stuck here. <laughs> Simon's stuck in this situation. And I can never escape. Uh, I could have ate food and not been disturbed because it's quiet time, but no, the game ends just like that. When I go to eat, it's going to be quiet. Then I can't eat. <laughs> it's okay, Danny. I think we got a little bit left. Let's, uh... Get out of this chair and explore around. But yeah, my, Catherine's a bitch. There's no is debate this? for that. Um, did what it work? she did, what she did was a good thing. But like, this is not, you know, this is not, this is not it. You don't manipulate and use somebody like that, like promising them that they'll live on and then they fucking die at the bottom of the ocean. Uh, I'm eating butter chicken at a new place and it's bussing. Fuck yeah, butter chicken redemption. Let's go. I'm ready for the butter chicken redemption art. Let's fucking go. I'm in here. God, I wish I had some butter chicken right now. That sounds so good. Wait, is this the Ark? Is the Ark all fucked up? Oh, no. Is this the Ark? Oh, no. Please tell me it's nice and pretty. Oh, thank God it's all nice and pretty. We're here. We made it to Salvation Land. Oh, yeah, butter chicken's good, but it takes a lot of work. I do agree with that. I wish somebody I knew who was who loved to make it. Smell the flowers. I can feel the grass on my feet. Yes, other Simon's living it up. Look how nice it is. Look how nice and pretty it is. 
It does kind of worry me that we saw some structure gel back in that cave, but I'm going to assume that's a glitch. I'm going to assume that's like a, a mental problem and not like a sign of things to come. Yeah, good for you, other Simon. Welcome. If you're reading this, you have successfully entered the Ark. This survey is for dying to give developers a better understanding of your subjective experience and how to improve your well-being. Please continue with the survey. It's not even close to shift changes, so when I go to get my food, I'm going to be... <laughs> well, Danny, if this is the end end, I might be ending soon. So you might be in luck to catch the very last bit of the game. How would you describe your physical condition? I feel invigorated. A better version of myself. How would you describe your mental condition? I feel angry. You don't have an option for that. Um... So, I guess I feel altered. How would you describe your senses? I feel... Mm, I feel like more sensitive to and aware of my surroundings because I realize I'm in a simulation. How would you describe the sensation of your new condition? It's depressing. Are you troubled by the fact you are no longer strictly human? I mean, I'm fine with that. I'm just mad at Catherine. How do you perceive your new existence? It's something completely different and has nothing to do with my previous self. Do you think the new existence will be worth living a life for? Yes, as soon as I can kill Catherine. Would you rather be removed from the project? No. Alright, let's go find Catherine. Let's begin the world's first murder. It's sad, but I wish there was an option where the brain scan to be sent. You'll have the batteries drained at the same time when loading finishes. Yeah, see, that's what I would hope for. Or at least, like, some type of, um, like, option to end the suffering of the Simon stuck at the bottom of the sea. Because, like, he's still down there, in the dark, having to deal with all that shit. But, um... The... Wanna break from the ads? Wanna break from the ads? Where's my gun? Where's my gun? Where's my gun? Wait, let me go find like a knife. Hold on. Let me go find like a, a knife or something to beat her beat her ass with. It. I gotta beat her up a little bit for that. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I need I need a weapon. Is there a weapon around here? Anyone know where I can find like a weapon? Maybe I can make the world's first weapon too. That'd be pretty cool. It's not an arc, it's an island, not a boat game. <laughs> well satellites are like boats. Instead of going through the sea, though, they go through the stars. Alright, I guess I gotta go talk to Catherine. Ah, there's no weapon. I'm not gonna be able to beat her ass. I'm very sad about this. I really wanted to get my revenge on Catherine for what she's done to me, but, um... There's nothing we can do. There's no hope. Let's see what she's up to and, uh... Get out of here. I ship you my taser, I just need to be back by tomorrow. I got you, Danny. I got you. If you can find a way to send the taser through the, the online uh, portal into the arc, I will 100% use it on Catherine right now. Let's see if it pops up. Maybe I'll get an option during the cutscene. Catherine! I can't believe we actually made it. Welcome back. I looked for a weapon did. to beat Catherine up, but I couldn't find I'm one. I'm so relieved. It's okay, Simon. Everything's all right now. I could not find a stick. I looked all around. I couldn't become the world's first murderer. Wow, the world's still on fire. How recent was the meteor strike? I mean, I guess volcanoes can last for centuries, so... If it caused enough to do that through plate shifting, it could just be eternally fire on fire. Looks like a tomato soup can. We're lost in the... The cosmic soup. Off into 
infinity. So I thought it was going to orbit the Earth, but I guess I don't just, like, fly off into the endless darkness. Never to be seen again. Earth is permanently abandoned. Cold, dense, dark, never-ending space. The cold feeling will never leave you. The cold... Oh, it was Catherine's face the whole time. Hmm, interesting. What's, what's the point if it's never to be seen again? Well, humanity lives on inside the Ark. They have their digital selves and their digital world that can potentially propagate and grow a new humanity inside the Ark somehow. And then, who knows? That was, uh, it's Soma. That was Soma. But thank you so much, for ZC, for, uh, recommending that game to me. That was fucking excellent, my man. Right now, you are two for two. So thank you for the redeem, and, uh, and thank you for giving me the chance to experience that. It was quite, uh, gave me a lot to think about. Lots of, lots of different ideas, you know? Let me turn the music up slightly. There we go. Okay, that sounds good. Um, that's not how I want to live on, knowing it's all fake. Yeah, that's where I would be too, but like, if that's my only option for existence, I would probably be a little more open to it, I suppose, just because it's like, there'd be nothing left of me at all. Like, there's no option besides that. At that point, I think I would accept it pretty easily. I don't think I've ever seen the winter bark crown. It's so pretty. Oh, thank you, kitten. Yeah, I decided to pop it up for Christmas, and now that it's cold outside, I figured I'd just leave it up for a while until the next phase starts. You know, until we get to the next part, the next, the next, my next character arc, or my next story arc. Some people, some people think it'll never be found. Some people think it's a hope to be found by some people. Hmm. Well, based on. The graph, I thought it'd be orbiting Earth with the hope of one day coming back down, like after, I don't know, a certain amount of time, like they have the technology to fix it. Um, but based on the way the ending was shot, it seems to imply that it's just going to go off into space, uh, like non permanently, and I'm just indefinitely flying away. I don't mind living a life if there's no harm in real life, and is it real? Well, they all know it's unreal. That's the thing, they all know it's not real. They all know they're inside a contraption, inside a satellite, inside a shuttle flying off into space somewhere, you know? They all know that, they all agree to it. I guess if you're, I guess if they repopulate humanity and, they, and the machine is able to like make new humans. Okay, this is my thought. Are they gonna be immortals inside the machine? Or are they able to have children and like proper data, a new human race. I don't think I picked up that detail in the game. Because if it's just living eternally, then that probably is hell, and I wouldn't want to do it. If it's like just a direct continuation of um, humanity and they can actually like have kids and like propagate and like repopulate, then I'd be more open to the idea. Because at least there's a chance then. Uh, no, they just went for a wee for the aliens to find them. <laughs> well, they live forever. They couldn't have a chance of finding aliens. Shouldn't we have been able to put that dying lady in the machine? Uh, that's She is in the machine, actually. The dying lady is in the machine, but it's another version of herself. I've returned with Hop Hawkins. Oh, uh, Rune, you missed the ending. <laughs> you missed the whole ending, my man. I'm done. I'm finished. I, I finished up the game. We are done with Selma. Uh, they're all brain scans with a mortal body or anything, but body can't last that long when they're saved. Well, like, what I'm saying is that if they, um, if they can live, like, a human existence inside the machine, right, like, they can have kids, they can grow, they can change, they can develop, I think that would be good. I think if they were stuck eternally inside 
the way that they are, and nothing changes, and they're just there to, I don't know, vibe, then I don't think that's really a continuation of humanity. That seems more just like... Honestly, at that point, it seemed more like self-indulgence to me. Like, I don't want to die. But you're not like, you're like leaving a mark of humanity, but in reality, you're just giving yourself an escape route. Damn, I didn't think about it that way before. But I don't know the functions of the art, you know? Because at that point, if you really think that, like, you want to be immortal, then just, yeah, put yourself in the arc, end your human life, and then you get to live forever inside there. You, you, you don't need the world to end that, you can just do that right away as soon as they have, uh, brain scanning technology. Uh, I returned to her, but couldn't we have transferred her brain into it somehow? Well, see, that's where Catherine was lying to me about, um... <laughs> That's where Catherine was lying to me, because she was saying that I could transfer on the art, but apparently you can't. You can only scan your brain and then make a copy. You can't, like, transfer intelligence. You always just have to copy it and then paste it. And sure, we could have killed her, like, after we did the brain scan again, but there's already a copy of her on the art. So there's, like, no point in doing a second one? Unless they wanted to have two versions of the same woman running around? I don't know, it's, it seems very... I don't know. Like, it's like, I don't know. Like, there'd be no point, basically. Because we'd just be doing the same thing we did to Simon and Catherine. Catherine didn't seem to care, but... You know. You missed the climax? You did, Rune. You missed it. You missed the climax. As long as I had my YouTube. There's only so many videos. <laughs> There's only so many videos, man. You can't be sitting for eternity. No one knows how long eternity is. Like, what if you start beef with somebody inside the, uh, inside the arc? Then you're gonna be beefing for all of eternity. There's no escape. You can literally not escape them. That'd be the worst. But how would you know it's not a weird simulation? Well, they all know, right? The, the brain scans will do. Simon, no, no, actually, no, they would. Actually, because of the survey, when we got onto the, onto the arc, they asked us, like, how do you feel? Do you feel human? Do your senses feel disconnected? What What are your emotions? Like, it, it asked you. So, clearly they all have the cognizance to know it's fake. The executive know it's a simulation? Oh, well, no, wait. But it, didn't everybody get surveyed? It was right there by the entrance when we left, you know? Uh, let's see. I guess that means the rush of life is still false. Kind of? Rune got blue ball for the ending. Can't kill them. No sticks. <laughs> I know they asked you at the beginning of the game, too. But it's like, we were also a robot in the beginning of the game from a dude who was like in Toronto 100 years ago. So it's like, we didn't know it was real then. But at the moment that you're scanned, you agreed to be put onto the arc. It wasn't like a compulsory thing. People agreed that they wanted to be scanned and put in. So they knew what they were getting into. At least that's my understanding, right? Because they all agreed to have their brain scanned and then put onto the arc. Everyone's like, haha, it's so cute. Anyways, we're gonna go back and solve real issues. Uh, we're not gonna be focusing on the brain scan thing. And then Sarang started killing people, like like making them be like, hey, you know, that's the real you. The real you is on the arc. So if you just end your life right now, you're instantly teleported onto the arc with your true mental is. Right? Like that was his whole Colt's little point. Which I don't agree with, but... Yeah, but you would know your body's dead. You would know that humanity's dead. Or at least, like, when the scan was taken. Like, how close they were. Uh, and you know your family's gone. And all that stuff. They probably don't know what happened to the uh, the rest of the arc. And I would be surprised if Catherine and Simon didn't tell them after they got there. Because I'm sure they're very confused. Like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> who the fuck is Simon? Who's this dude from Toronto from, like, 100 years ago? <laughs> I think they're all gonna find out. You gotta deal with that forever, exactly, exactly. That's why I don't think it's worth it. You'd be dealing with that forever. I can't do that still, though I keep on living. Mm. I could see that, I could see that. Uh, if you're mech with a pocket, I would not call that a hot pocket rune, I'd call that um, burning plastic. Put a taste in the plus, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I don't know what kind of simulation you're in, Rune. I don't know if I want to join that one. I guess it would also depend on your relationship with your parents or family. Mine isn't so great, so I don't really have any problem with that. Hmm. 
Well, I guess what it comes down to um, is that it's not even wholly about um, it's not even wholly about like leaving your family or love or friends behind or people like if you don't care about them or people who like you, you don't have like a, a direct attachment to those around you. I just feel like like I just feel like living eternally would just be painful, you know. Oh, well, this music's like this music's like way too. This music's like way way too hype for what I'm talking about right now. Uh, I need something like a little more chill. Uh, there we go. There we go. That's better. Okay. Um. Yeah, but that's what they're doing on the Ark, man. I, okay, that's what I'm trying to understand. If the Ark is living eternally, then I think it's a curse. It seems like a terrible idea. If the Ark is just a simulation of reality where you can have kids and propagate life, then I'm fine with it. I would totally do it. That would be my my breaking point. Currently, I just don't think I've lived enough to die yet. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I don't want to die anytime soon. I got plenty, plenty of time. But look at uh, the girl that had to die earlier. She was like less than 30. And it's just like, there was no hope. She was the last human alive. She had nothing to look forward to. No one was left. Nothing to do. Stuck at the bottom of the ocean. Potentially gonna get killed by some other robot. So it's just like, what do you do? According to the server, they have the option to be ejected. I wonder if I had did that, would the game just immediately end? Like, would it just cut me out? Like, oh, nope, you're gone. <laughs> would you leave? But if you could be ejected, then what's the point in the first place? Like, it's supposed to continue humans' legacy, right? Even the co-workers and neighbors are all dead. Yeah. Think about how vampires in movies feel. They outlive everyone so they can't get close, yeah. You eventually... It's just like, I guess in the sense of the arc, no one would die. You can make new relationships with people and whatnot, but I feel like it would still lead to stagnation, I guess. Like, I feel like if you had an eternity with a set amount of people and nothing will ever change, at some point that just feels like a bad idea. I feel like at some point something will crack and there's nowhere to go because you're in a space shuttle <laughs> inside a fucking box in the satellite. You can't change your situation. You are stuck there. And nothing will fix it until, I don't know, the aliens show up. That's what I'm worried about, if that was my destiny. But if it's just like I could live my, my normal lifespan, enjoy myself, and then things end, I, yeah, like I said, totally fine. There's so much I don't know, I want to learn it at my own pace. Oh, exactly, yeah, yeah, there's so many things to learn, do, experience, see. I'm so excited just to keep going and see what life has in store. It's so much fucking fun. That's why I think the prospect of being stuck in a box for all eternity sounds like a nightmare. Because <laughs> how do things change? How do you grow? If you're like a predisposed software to be a certain way. Like I want to go to school and I want to find love and I want to experience more culture and people. Yes, 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 exactly. Hitting Sam here. Mm -hmm. Just because I find out it's simulation doesn't mean I found happiness and lovely experience. I'll be more grateful it happened than it never happened. If you're ignorant to the whole situation, I could see that mindset. No, if you're if you're like not wholly in the situation, I could see how you believing that you're actually in the real world and just living your life normally would be good. It just depends on the simulation is. Because they didn't give too many details from what I saw, like in terms of what their life will be like after like a hundred years or so, you know? Are they gonna be old? Are they going to be the same? Are they going to be able to learn? Are they just like robots? Are they just AI? I don't know, I think I would rather be dying knowing I lived than run away and never accomplishing more. Mm. That's kind of why, that's kind of where I stand on the arc. As long as you don't have the opportunity to grow as a person and you're just kind of like living out day to day, constantly never changing, then I think I would be uh, more reticent to do it. But I also do kind of see the viewpoint, it's like, oh, I'm saving humanity. Because even if these people are suffering inside the box, it's like a little time capsule of what a human was. What is a human man? What does he do? 
how does he act? What was their culture? What was their story? What was the history? What happened to them? And I think that's incredibly rare to have something like that. Imagine like an alien fights it. They get like a whole little package of uh, like a little ecocosm of what a human is like. I don't like pondering morality or mortality because I begin to dread waking up the next day, waking up to a coin each day with the chance that it could be your last like speech before you going to sleep. Mm. I could see that perspective, Rune. I guess the fact that you could potentially wake up the next day and um, you don't know what your life is, I guess it's kind of like the opposite for me where like it makes me more motivated to do the stuff that I want to do while I'm alive in the first place. Because, you know, even if I don't die tomorrow, like, what if I experience a critical accident? What if something crazy happens? What if I, like, I lose access to X, Y, Z, or I can't do yada, yada, yada? So I'm always trying to pursue and do the things that I want to do and not feel like I'm snagnating, I guess. Because I feel like when it comes to the morality thing and, like, do you want to live forever in AI... I would say no, because I think change is the most beautiful thing about being a person. You know, just keep growing, keep changing, keep adapting, keep doing new stuff. And mortality is what makes that possible. If you didn't die, you'd never change. You would just be the same forever. Because there's no point in changing. You just, nothing's gonna happen to you. You'd be Gucci for all eternity. Sitting, pondering in a stone, if you really wanted to. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. I ponder morality, uh, mortal I keep saying morality, mortality a lot. Going into mortuary, I think you kind of have to. Oh yeah, no, you have a very specific perspective, Kit. Like, you probably have to think about it a lot. Like, not even, like, consciously, just, like, subconsciously, you're around it so much. You have to. You do. But that's the only thing that humans, um, have in common something. We all know it's coming at some point. Well, we also have birth and change. It's sad in a beautiful way, I agree. I really ponder mor uh, moral mortality. I'm just curious about our differences. It's really interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm here for it. Thinking about dying. I love these type of discussions. Thinking about dying makes me want to experience everything. I, mm -hmm. Same, same, same. I promise knowing that I can't go back if I make a choice and it becomes life ruining. I can't reset. Well, I would like to think that most choices you make aren't like that critical, like in scope. You know, in, like I think sometimes you can kind of like tumble down a path that will affect you for a long time. Or you can make choices that negatively affect you for a period. And it'll be bad for a while. But there's always the chance to change it and grow and go a different path later on. There's always consequences to your choices. But it's not like they're eternal consequences unless you... I don't know, suffer some type of serious problem. But that... I'd like to think that happens rarely enough that you shouldn't let the fear of consequences stop you from doing what you want to do. Or going out and doing things. But I do understand that room, totally. Yeah, me and Kit, me and you, we're pretty in line thought-wise, at least when it comes to uh, mortality. Except the whole simulation thing. <laughs> Except me the simulation bits, maybe. I've lived a life so restricting where I'm rarely able to make my own decisions that I just don't care anymore, so I'll live my life every day and enjoy it for what it is. Mm. Well, I think one thing to keep in mind, CC, is it like, right now... It could be like that for you, but you, I don't want you to think that it could always be that way. And like, you're always going to be in a way where you would rarely have to make your own decision. Sometimes, sometimes in life you get like thrust with huge responsibility and you are forced to make a ton of decisions all at once, even if before you didn't really, you know? So I think that enjoying it for what it is and having fun is good, but I think... I think that it's not solely without making decisions that you can live that way. I think you can live that way with your own decisions. Um, you just have to do what you need to do. You know, live life like you have no regrets, not in a crazy way, but just slowly but surely type of pace. So I do agree that doesn't make sense. Yeah, it does. It does. It does. Stoicism. Ah, see, I've read meditations as well. I know Marcus Aurelius. <laughs> I know Mr. Aurelius. Um, I think. I do agree with a lot of Stoicism's ideas about taking in things slowly and adapting to the environment that you're in. I don't agree with the taking responsibility for things that are outside of your control and then making it part of your personality to not try to change your environment in any way. Like, that would be my main beef. 
and part of what I don't wholly stand with stoicism. Like, the rest of the stuff about like being your own person, doing, taking responsibility for yourself, etc., etc. I do stand with that stuff, taking life as it is. But only to a degree. Only to a degree do I agree with stoicism. I lived like that for a long time, and I kind of realized that like there's no. It almost kind of. I feel like stoicism is. There's almost a hopelessness in it that you can't affect what's around you. When in reality, every day you make decisions that change your environment little by little, and it's not like you're gonna change the fucking world. But if you just give up on changing your environment at all, I feel it's a little hopeless unless you have like a very rich uh, internal life or things to do like consistently without having to worry about uh, what's around you. But I do get it, Cece. I don't have any regrets, not really. I like who I've turned into and I, I change things in my past that will change who I am today. I like to think that the past isn't real. The past isn't there. Like, sure, I have thoughts in my head. I have stuff around me that the past is, is there, that it happened, but like, is it real anymore? No. The past is gone. The past is the past. And I can never go back there. So, all I have to do is understand where I am right now, who I am, what I've done, what we do, and then uh, I act from that point forward. Because hell, the future's not even guaranteed either. I could do something and something completely different could happen, but I'm I'm making that choice. I'm just doing what I'm doing. I'm different than I used to be, but it took me a lot of fucking up to get I think everyone's uh, thoughts about life and mortality go through a very strong series of fucking things up consistently in your life or doing choices you're like damn <laughs> to like get to the point where you're like you know what I'm good I am where I am and I gotta go with the person go with the, the mindset I have now and not the one that I used to have my friends are the complete opposite of me and that's why they complete me Oh, that's very sweet Cece that's good it's good that you're open to like a different uh, mindset it's good to gather people who are like you but also people who aren't in the same mindset as you my past has shaped me and I look back to see how to change the future, but I don't ponder it and long to change it. That's a good way to see it. You can't change the past at all. Nope. Even though time travel is technically possible, I'm not going to be able to do it anytime soon. Not going to happen to me. Nothing I would want to change. I am where I am. And, you know, I think it's very wishful to be like, oh, I could go to the past and change XYZ and everything would be perfect. You might have like a whole new host of problems that you couldn't even think of before. You could, you could fuck up your past even more. <laughs> you could fuck it up even more. You have no idea. When I look at my friends, I see clear differences in our past. Like, they go for opportunities while I like to, I like being stagnant. Hmm. I see them take a lot of risk and sometimes they rise and fall. I like being the stable wall ground they come back to. God, that's so corny. I mean, you're just being real, man. Don't worry about being corny. You're speaking your mind. I don't think that's wholly about ignoring opportunities and, like, not taking risks, though. Because that is... I think this is I think this is what I think about that. Choosing to be stagnant and not moving is still a choice that you make. And there is risks and opportunities associated with that. Not choosing to move is a choice. It's not necessarily nothing, right? You're making a choice, but it's different from the kind of choices that your friends make. I don't think you can ever say that not making a choice is never like an op. Like, you can't just not make a choice um, unconsciously. You are making a choice actively to do nothing. That's completely different. So, CC, I think you are choosing to be the stable, stoic, like, rock person. No, no, you're explaining it well. I understand what you're saying. Like, you act in a way that allows... Yeah, there's a clear level of difference. There's a clear difference level. Yeah, yeah. It's not that you're... I think what you said is best. Like, you're treating yourself kind of like a rock in terms of the philosophy you approach it with. In terms of wanting stability and consistency over other things, right? But I'm just saying that's also a choice in a way. Obviously, it's not the same level of risk, but it is a choice. But it's not like a passivity, so to say. I drink now, but I used to drink a lot to numb myself, and I abused payments on my body. Probably hates my past, but I'm glad I'm different now. It took a lot of strength. That's awesome, kid. Congratulations. Truly. That's some real tough stuff to go through. And I'm very proud of you for um, moving on to it, like accepting it and going forward with it. That is great. 
I've gotten to the point where I'm so scared to do anything because I suffer from pre-rejection dysphoria. So I think about every way that I could end up being a failure. Mm. I think there's definitely like a level of anxiety whenever you do something, and I don't know how to treat that because I actually think that's the first time I've ever heard about that rune, but I hope that in the future, I don't know, with the things you experience, you can try to go through stuff that helps you understand that thinking about the failure of it will always stop you from doing things that you could truly enjoy in a way, and that even if you do fail, it, it could not matter. You could fail and learn a good lesson and be better for it. Honestly, sometimes failures are better than victories. Sometimes failing at something will make you better than you would be if you won. And in that way, failure is like a good thing, you know? And in that way, you can look at it as like a more positive thing. And it's almost like, see, failing... <laughs> failing to acquiesce your reality could eventually lead you to understanding it more clearly because you went through like a hard part. Um, place to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd rather be rejected. And never try. I would rather that I try something, fail, and either learn about myself or take something from that failure and shift it into another thing. I never want to just sit on a failure. I think that's I think that's where failure is bad. Is when you sit on it. When you don't sit on the failure. If anything, a failure could be good for you. Failures can help you. So I think being worried about them, I mean, obviously if you have a problem with that, definitely seek therapy or help to help you move past that or if you want to talk about it, 100%. But that's just my mindset on failure. That could be wrong. Uh, let's see, if it comes with ADHD, if ADHD gets untreated for a long- Oh, okay, I didn't know that, huh? Well, it- Does ADHD have a lot of anxiety-related, uh, symptoms? I know sometimes they're paired up, but I don't know if it's, like, inherently the same in some ways. Wanna break from the ads? Wanna break from the ads? That was a medium run. Back fast. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Look, small wins add up. Small failures can be pivoted from for big wins. Sometimes big failures are life-changing and they change your life for the better. One of the beautiful things about mortality that we were talking about is that sometimes you don't even know what the fuck's gonna happen. And that's the fun part. <laughs> you can just do shit. And you know, sometimes if you want to be like a rock in the river and you want to um, sort of endure the storm and provide a uh, shelter, uh, or you want to just go where the water goes and see what the fuck happens. And sometimes you'll fall in a creek, sometimes you'll hit a fish, and sometimes you'll land on gold. Uh, let's see. Now I gotta go for real. See you next time. I gotta come back to do that. Good night, bro. Hey, thanks, Danny. Thanks for so much for stopping by again and giving the, me the ad thing. But uh, rest up, take care, have a good one, and I'll catch you later. Peace. I have no desire to go completely sober, though. It's probably what would be best, but I enjoy it from time to time. Oh, yeah, I know. Well, I always think I shouldn't drink as much, but I don't think I've ever experienced like a uh, like a thing from it. I mean, I think even at one point or another, someone's like had a drink when they had a bad time. Like <laughs> you're crying your eyes out because something bad happened to you, and you just want to have a drink. But obviously, it shouldn't be used that way. But you know, it happens from time to time. I think a drink, as long as you can control it, is always okay. But um. Yeah, I guess, I think it's the inherent risks of things that make you seek to do things and change yourself. And I could say I was a lot more, maybe stoic is not the right word. I was a lot more centered in the past and I like to just kind of go with where I am and enjoy what I was doing. Um, but I kind of realized that there were a ton of things that like I wasn't getting perspective on or that I didn't know. I met, I, I rushedly met a ton of people, did a ton of things that I realized like, damn, there's so many things that I just do not know about at all that I really want to. And I would, I never wanted to be afraid of trying something again. I, I always wanted to have the mindset of, I'm gonna be the person 
who's going to be the first one to nut up and do something. Um, to do something like that someone else is scared of or that they don't want to do. I want to be the one that's like ready to just do crazy shit for the hell of it. And that was my goal for the past couple of years. And uh, it actually led me here to fucking being a VTuber, which is starting streaming, which is crazy to think about. It was literally just like, you know what? I'm going to do it. Fuck it. And then, pow, I did it. It's, it's, been it's been a helpful mindset, at least. Just do... Not sit on things that I don't like and doing things that I want to do. Untreaty HD can result in depression, rejection, sensitivity for it, executive... Oh, man. Okay. Huh. I guess ADHD encompasses a lot more thing that I didn't know about. I really just thought it was the intention stuff and some occasional OCD. I am completely ignorant to what ADHD is like, so pardon my... Pardon my non-understanding room. But I do wish you the best. I'm just really fortunate to be surrounded with friends that positively encourage me to change and move forward. They inspire me to get better whenever I fall into good stuff. That's awesome, Cece. Having a good community is fucking huge. Uh, when I was in a uh, when I was a stump, I never wanted to do anything. I nearly failed last year of high school. Mm. Yeah, friends and uh, community and people around you will always encourage you to do better. We are very social creatures, and having people to talk to, uh, even if you're I don't know, introverted or antisocial, whatever, will always benefit you, even if it's hard, even if it's difficult. It'll provide you some guidance. Obviously, everyone needs a different kind of community, but finding people who can positively push you forward is fucking great, man. I'm glad for you, Cece. I'm very happy. And I'm glad that you're, um, I guess, moving forward now, or at least changing some things, or looking to change and keep changing, and I wish you luck. Yeah, that's how I am. I've always wanted the first one to do something or try something, yeah. Oh no, I definitely was not like that before, but I am now. Or at least I tried to be now. I still have some of that, like, inner monkey. It's like, why are you doing this? Don't do this. You don't need to do that. I'm like, you know what? Fuck off. And I do it anyways. It's slippery slope. Like, ADHD makes you not able to focus and that turns into lonely. Oh, I see. Yeah, I guess a lack of focus could affect you in a lot of ways. That doesn't make sense. Even if the situation is tough at home, they made me think the future was worth it and it's worth it. And that they're in for it. That's awesome, man. Truly. Truly. I'm very, very happy for you. That is awesome. I think the future is always worth it. 100%. Things get dark sometimes. Sometimes you fall down. Sometimes you really get down. Sometimes you're in the Auto thick of it. Auto shutdown initiated. Uh, what was that? I heard that the other day when I was streaming. I don't know what that is. That's very ominous. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> um, is my computer about to explode? New Michelle's fucking me up. Okay. No, my mic light is still on. I don't know what the fuck that is. I'll have to look into it later. Um. Basically, if you get treated early on, you get draw 15 cards for fuck ass metal. Yeah. Well, at least, hopefully, if you can get treated for it, it can, um, improve. But, um. Yeah. I think Soma is probably the game that's made me th think about these things the most lately. The most thinking about inner work, thoughts about humanity, get, get a lot of perspective on life. And honestly, that is um, fantastic for fucking end of the year. <laughs> that, that lines up like perfectly well with the mood that I'm usually in. So I'm basically just fucking getting rocked for it. Uh, let's see. just heard a beep, I think, for your mic. Do you have a Corsair HS70? Uh, my headset? Maybe. Let me Google that real quick. Corsair HS70. Uh, no. But I do have a Corsair headset. I don't know what kind it is, but is have you heard that before, Rune? Maybe my headset's running out of battery right now. Oh, wrong button. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, my college friend was so pressured to succeed in college that they were literally students who were to repeat the class. There's always the next time. Oh yeah, no. I'm gonna tell you, well, uh, like in my last year of school, my last year of college, my very last semester, I literally spent two months not doing anything. I, I skipped all of my classes. 
I didn't do any assignments. I didn't do any responsibilities. I would just hang out my friends, do whatever I wanted to do, and ignore like everything. And I think this is very common. I think it's like, a, there's actually a name for it. It's like, when you feel like this creeping sensation that a ton of responsibility is gonna like hit you all of a sudden, you like, your body can like freak the fuck out and you pressure. And like those two months were like rough where I was just not doing anything productive. And I just felt like I was like sitting there and luckily I was able to get out of it before I graduated, uh, clean up my act and like finish normally. But life can change from there. Yeah, that's the good lesson. Life can change and you can improve. There'll be scary moments like that, but it can always bounce back very easily. As long as you try. Yeah, my headphones. Okay, my headset's definitely dying. Uh, I'm gonna find somebody to raid and then we're gonna peace out. Let's see, who's live right now? Oh, Sunny's live. Okay, let me grab this. Yeah, I think my headset's dying. I can hear like my audio stuff to cut out. I'm sure you guys can still hear me, but my stuff is trying to fade away on me. Very slowly, I'm fading out of reality. Okay, sorry to cut our conversation for it, but I am running out of time. Okay, uh... You're not there. Rune, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you again, I swear to God. <laughs> Rune, how many times do I gotta say I'm gonna beat the sadness out of you, you fucker? I like talking to you. Don't feel bad. I promise you, I promise you, people that care about you want to talk to you, my man. People in your life that like you want to help you. Okay, yeah, my headset's like fucking dying immediately. Uh, it feels weird because all my friends are graduating, but as you go, I'm just start starting out to do something soul searching. I think everyone goes through a time like that. I'm gonna beat the happy to you, you're gonna fucking like it. I'm gonna show you you're appreciated, you fucker. You know, I have to mash a mallet over your head to show you. <laughs> I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump you and make you happy. <laughs> But up here, I know where's some fucking flowers and chocolates. All right, uh, we're raiding Sun Slam Live. Uh, good friend, they are playing Warhammer Vermintide. It seems like lots of fun. Uh, thank you guys so much for having this discussion. It's been incredibly interesting. And I hope you've also enjoyed this time playing Soma. It was a fantastic game. So thank you to CC for uh, telling me to play it. It's fucking sick. Thank you so much. Instantly a banger. Um, I hope you guys have a great night. Take care, rest up, and have a good one. Uh, if I didn't like to talk to you, I would talk to you. You're <laughs> exactly, exactly. Oh, okay, I understand, man. All right, all right, everybody. Thank you so much. Take care. Have a good one. Good night, CC, Kitten, Rune, and anyone else listening. Peace. Auto shutdown cancelled. My Tyranid army think of like xenomorphs.